1897 by Eric Stokeby. What's up everybody, Eric here from Tea and Tobacco. Today I'm going to be looking at this fourth generation line from Eric Stokeby, so let's go. All right, so today I'm looking at 1897 from Eric Stokeby. Uh, it's from his fourth generation line. And uh, this tobacco is mostly Cavendish with some Virginia and Burley in it. It's also topped with vanilla and honey. And really the tin note that you get is pretty much that. You get a warm vanilla, you get a touch of the honey and a slight alcohol uh, scent to it. It's definitely a lot of Cavendish. It's, uh, a lot of dark tobaccos in there with some light specks of brown. The moisture in the tin was a little high. It does need a little bit of drying um, before you smoke it. So let me get this lit up and smoking and we'll see how it tastes. All right, so one thing I really like about this, it lights very easy. Sometimes you don't even get a false light, you can just go. You can actually smoke it pretty hard and it doesn't bite, so that's nice. Flavor-wise, really it's a very mild tobacco. They're, the flavor is very light. You can retrohale it without any problems. It's nice and soft and smooth. Flavor-wise is a slight nuttiness, a touch of coffee in there, but very light. And in the, in the, then in the finish, you do get little notes of, of the vanilla coming through. Not so much on the honey, do you do get some slight kind of florally notes, I guess. They're super, super light. They're very hard to pick up if you're not looking for them. But so that's how we stand right at the beginning and um, I'll get smoking this and see if anything else develops out of it. Hat of the day today, I'm wearing a wool patch Epoch flat cap. Um, pretty big fan of it. Uh, I just got these Epoch hats recently and uh, they're actually really good quality and they're super cheap comparatively to like the classic Kangles that are like $30 more or so. So check them out if you're into flat caps. Uh, can see the patches. It's pretty cool. So I'm more than halfway down the bowl here. It's a very consistent blend. It's still very mild. There's light touches of coffee notes in there with the warm vanilla kind of coming through in the finish. Not so much in the honey. That's it's still really far in the background. You can just mildly pick it out. Um, Smoke output is good. You can puff on this stuff pretty hard and it's not gonna bite, so that's that's pretty nice. Really, it's kind of a, a blend you could just puff on all day long and you, it's not gonna cause you any problems, per se. So, there we are at the halfway point. Nothing fancy today, just smoking a cob. All right, so I pretty much smoked this down to nothing. Just like a lot of pipe tobaccos, as you start getting lower in the bowl, kind of the flavor ramps up a bit. Um, those coffee notes come out a bit more. The vanilla is kind of tapered off. Uh, you still have that finish, but it's not as sweet and it's not as long and definitely isn't as vanilla as it used to be. There's also a slight note of a stewed fruit, kind of like a raisin. So there you go, um, no nick hit at all. Basically no bite, there's just a slight touch of heat on the back of the palate, but that's about it. Uh, this could really, you could smoke this all day long and probably not have any problems at all. So there you go, this has been Fourth Generations 1897 by Eric Stokeby. Thanks for watching everybody. Be sure to like, like and subscribe, comments, questions, feedback down below. I've also opened up a Discord server if you'd like to join us. The uh, link is down in the description and I will see you next time on Tea and Tobacco. See you guys.